What's going on guys, it's Ryan and welcome back to another video. Today is busy to say the least. Got a lot of stuff going on. I'm in the process right now of shooting a little bit of uh, like some product from a company called Luxpro. And I'm putting together a little like 20 to 30 second um, sort of demo reel. They wanted something um, kind of new and kind of modern so they gave me full creative control on the project, which is super fun. So if I get this video done in time today, I'm gonna try and put it in the vlog. Obviously I need to talk to the company and make sure that they're okay with it, but uh, I'm sure you guys would like to see this. If I guess if this is something you guys are interested in seeing a video on, like shooting product or something like that, more than happy to do it. So I'm working on getting that done right now, but I have more things to do today. I actually have a shoot, it's a senior photo shoot, which I don't do that many of, just generally because I don't have a lot of time during the summer to say yes to them, but um, I decided to book this one with one of my friends, her name is Lane. So I'm headed out to Sandy to go get that done, but uh, I think I'll, I'll show you guys kind of what camera gear I'm gonna be taking. So what I need to do here is actually break down this rig, because I gotta get the camera out of there. Now I have a feeling a good amount of you guys are probably going to be pretty curious about uh, that, that little cinema rig that I have going on right now. There's some uh, new pieces that I got specifically for some upcoming projects, including this one that I'm working on. Um, and it's, it's created something pretty cool. So I'm going to do a video talking about it soon, so stay tuned for that. But I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to be taking with me. Basic portrait shoot. It's going to be a short one. Um, let me show you what I got. Bam, here's what we got. Now a lot of you guys are looking at this and like, okay, what the heck, that's like nothing. And yes, I do agree. This is like a very, very minimal amount of gear to take on a shoot. Now, there's a couple of things that aren't on the table here, like a couple of reflectors and scrims and stuff. But when I'm doing things like a, like a portrait session, oftentimes what I'll find myself doing if I take a ton of gear is focusing on, should I tr swap to this lens? Should I try use this tripod? Should I try, I'll spend too much time thinking about the technical things rather than actually just shooting and trying to capture the emotion which is critical in portraits. A lot of people will overthink on the gear they're using, overthink on the gear they could be using, and they won't spend the time to really work with their the subject, work with the client, and, uh, and capture the best portraits, capture the best imagery. So Now obviously I have the essentials like extra batteries. I usually try and take a minimum of three fully charged batteries. And then I have a couple of lenses here. So this is a newer lens that I picked up not too long ago. This is the Sony 50mm 1.8. Great cheap little lens if you guys are shooting on the Sony cameras. I highly recommend checking that out. I have my daily driver. You guys should all know this by now. This is the Sony 28mm f2. Amazing prime lens. And then I have another lens, and this one's actually uh, a rental lens from Profoto. And this is the Zeiss Battis 85mm 1.8, which is an incredible portrait lens. Now one thing you guys are going to notice here is I'm shooting with all prime lenses, basically no zooms. Some people might ask, well why the hell are you doing that? Why don't you use zoom? Well personally, there's a handful of reasons that, that I use them. For one, when I use a zoom lens, I oftentimes find myself compensating for my composition, like basically using the zoom to reframe my image rather than actually moving my physical person, when in reality, getting around and moving is gonna teach you better composition, better framing for your photos than, than just allowing the zoom or the crop, for example, to take care of it. Another reason I use the prime lenses is because they in general are a lot sharper than a zoom lens will be. For example, this 85 millimeter is going to be significantly sharper uh, than something like the 70 to 200 while at 85 millimeters. The reason for that is they're generally much better corrected optically. Things like distortion on the edges of the image, things like center and corner sharpness, things like chromatic aberration, lots of technical details that really most people don't need to worry about when they're, when they're trying to find a new lens to buy or something like that. But 
it, for me, when I'm you know a bit of a perfectionist and this is my full-time career, uh, I definitely take that into account. So prime lenses are my favorite thing to shoot. But that being said, I'm running out of time, so I gotta keep So we're here out in Sandy and I'm doing Lane senior photos. Yeah. You're nervous and you're excited. Yeah, I don't know how to talk to a camera. <laughs> All right, hop up there. We're, we're gonna, let's get this done. Okay. Back in Colorado, baby. 17 years we were childish playing. We had time to make good night. We are out here in this little creek area, getting the shots. Hopefully you guys can hear me, but uh, we're gonna wrap up the shoot. Tristan came through with the assist. I needed him to help me shoot a little bit of the stuff for the video, as well as hold some reflectors for a couple of photos, but we're almost done, so we're gonna wrap up here. And get going. All right, so we just got back, wrapped up the shoot with Lane. Ended up turning out pretty good. Um, the location down there was super interesting. It had like that cool creek. It was our house, which was really nice. It didn't have to go anywhere. But we're back chilling now at. Uh... <laughs> Fucking hurt my shit. I'm not gonna lie. So Tristan came through and helped me out with a little bit of the shooting today. Um, just basically doing photo assistant work. And if you guys don't know what that is, basically it's somebody who comes along on the shoot who helps carry around gear, maybe holds a reflector or something like that. But if you guys are interested in learning photo and video, doing photo assistant for other photographers is a really good thing. I used to do it all the time when I was first getting started. Tristan is actually kind of starting to get into a little bit of video stuff, doing some YouTube stuff with cars. So, uh, you know, Every time I, I have the chance, I'll try and invite him to, to come do a little bit of shit with me. Yeah. He's got this this pretty dope STI. Give, give us give us a little rundown here, man. It's not technically an STI. It's a WRX. I've molded the body to an STI body. Um, it's, it's a little bit faster than an STI. I've put wheels on it, a bunch of body touch-up stuff. Uh, it's got a carbon fiber hood. We're running about 360 to the wheels. Um, Right now, I'm about to pull the engine and upgrade it to try to make 500 horse. Uh, I blew my head gaskets, not driving the speed limit. Subaru problems, Subaru right? problems, Subaru yeah, problems. Subaru problems. I got, I got, I got, I got loyalty, got royalty inside my DNA. Cocaine quarter piece, got war and peace inside my DNA. I got power points. Ugh. All right, guys, as you can tell, back in the office, <sighs> kind of dying of tiredness right now, but today was super fun, very, very productive, got a lot of shooting done, which is a very good feeling because I don't know if you guys remember back a couple videos ago, I talked about how right at kind of the beginning of summer, things are kind of dead, there's not a lot going on, so client work is starting to flow back in, which is always good, money's, money's good, so... I'm gonna wrap it up, it's been a long video. Thank you so much for watching today, guys. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, doing a lot of hand movements. And I also can't do the claps. So.